Charlotte chef getting some big time recognition. Greg Collier, the chef at Leah Louise, is a James Beard Award finalist. And I got the chance to spend some time with him at Leah Louise, getting a look at what makes his Memphis inspired food so special. I think a lot of chefs who've been here in the early 2000s, 2010s, did a lot of groundwork to kind of pave the way for us to get national recognition. So it's big for us because we finally have a finalist and I'm, you know, super honored to represent us. And the first? Yes, first. First chef in the city. We look at African American food ways for one. For two, we're from Memphis, my wife and I. Barbecue is king in Memphis. Our goal was to kind of try to figure out how we accentuate our home, what we do, where we're from, our music and our culture, and I don't think that's been done here in the city before. We've seen southern restaurants, but I think most of the southern restaurants here have a, a, a Carolinian context. Our food, our food ways are as, um, Memphis, Alabama, Mississippi River Valley is kind of what we focus on. So I'm not, um, I'm from Los Angeles, yep. so I'm not big on barbecue, right, right, right. but I know that barbecue, right. there are barbecue wars yep, here basically yep. about the sauces and the vinegar. There, no, there, there are no wars, this is Memphis. There's, there are no wars, we win. It's it. Yeah, it's all you know what So what about. makes this barbecue the taste different? Uh, so, like, we don't do barbecue here, right? But our flavor profile is smoke acid, sweet and salty. So That's it's, Memphis, right? Yeah, That's it's Memphis the barbecue essence style. of barbecue. A hundred percent. I think the thing that we're known for is our baby back ribs and our dry rub. Here at the restaurant, we season at every step. So we season fish, and then we season the sauce, and then we season the starch. So it's not like we take a dish, put it together, and put salt on top of it. We actually take time to season each piece. The same way with, you know, farmers who grow animals, they raise their animals in a certain way so the meat has a certain flavor. Then when you go through the brining process, in the dry rub process. You're seasoning it in every moment and you're giving that each step of it a lot of care. So, so when uh, you have people who come to the restaurant mm -hmm. for the first time, mm -hmm. what is typically their response? Because this is diff this is food we don't uh, have here, typically. Um, I think it depends, right? I think everybody comes in the door with the thought process, right? It's like, hey, it's a black chef, he's cooking Southern food. I think people, a lot of people think, oh, soul food, right? But then when they sit down and they see the food or they eat the food or, you know, they're having conversations about what it is, I think it's more um, Southern done our way, right? So you come in, you might get, uh, we have a cornmeal brioche. And food really is so much more than just Absolutely. picking something you like and right. eating it. So you're telling a right. story with everything you prepare. I think every, art, culinary arts, how visual art, um, or musical art, the, the best artists, the ones that we look to to say, oh, these are groundbreaking people, tell us their story. Every time you hear their music, you, oh, I know this about this person that I didn't know. I feel this person through the music. Like, Jimi Hendrix, often didn't say things, but his music, that guitar, we know, oh, that's Jimmy. Right. And we can feel him through that music. So I think that's one of our goals to try to tell our story. And when people come in, we want them to feel like, hey, I understand a little bit more about Memphis. I understand a little bit more about black culture. Those things are who we are and very important. So we hope people feel that here. 